Okay, everybody, thanks for coming to my stream. This is a live use stream, um, stream, which I am doing a five by seven canvas board using some, so far I've got um, some acrylic paints down in several different colors. I've used um, Light Peony by Folk Art. Uh, Bright Green by Americana. Pineapple by Americana. Teal Green by Americana. Laguna, Laguna Blue by Ceramco. And Bluegrass Green by Americana. Um, so once I blended those using some acrylic glazing liquid, um, I then layered um, a spray of Luminart's Shimmering Mist, um, Radiant Rain Shimmering Mist in what color is this? Ginger Flower. And then I used um, my color concentrate, and this color is Guatemalan. Yeah, and it's this beautiful teal blue, Twinkling H2O's color concentrate. And this was a, a rub on thing that I just rubbed on strategically. So after that dried a little bit, I went in with some some of the pale pink, the light peony, and I just basically dry brushed it with my finger in strategic points. So this is a live stream. I will be answering questions from my audience that are in the chat group right now, aka the orchestra seating section. <laughs> And um, I will be posting this on to YouTube if all goes well. So, so from here, um, I'm going to start layering with some collage, but I want to make sure that it's good and dry before I do that. Carol says she used to have an antique medical book that the pages were falling out of. She was just she had kept a hold of. It would be really interesting to see. Okay, and at this point, I'm going to put on another glove because the matte medium that I use is Liquitex, Liquitex brand, and it's not very easy to get off your fingers. Okay, so I'm going to grab a blue brush and going to use some music pages, but since I want to use them strategically, I'm going to try to keep them around the edges where I know that they won't get covered up as much. Eventually they might, but uh, I'm going to try to keep one or two for the very end. <laughs> Carrie, you could say so. OK, 
Okay, so bearing in mind that the spray is, oh crap. <laughs> I don't want to paint paint on my paper. Um, this I was thinking of the pink spray coming up, and then I grabbed pink paint. Oops! <laughs> that could make things a little interesting, huh? I rinse my brush out a little bit. Grab my towel. <laughs> Isn't that funny how that works? You think, ah, oh, I used to be that way about paper. I'd get it thinking, this is such great paper, and then I would think it's way too cool to use. And actually, I'd use it, because, you know, after all, it's just paper. But I'd be so bummed when it was gone, just like this magazine here. It's like, oh, no more music from my magazine. And part of the joy of using this particular paper is being vintage. It's got that gorgeous brownie vintage sheen to it that um, when you put the matte medium on it, it just turns this wonderful golden brown. And I don't think you can get that if you scan in an image and then um, print it off your printer. Night, Carrie. You have German sheet music? Sweet. Your husband works in Germany? Sorry, the chat moved so fast I didn't get to read your comment. So what does he do in Germany? I'm going to make this one sort of overlap the edge because I like the idea of doing that. Overlapping the edge a little. Trying not to get paint in my camera. Oh no! Okay, Quita. Bye. I'll send it in the mail when it's dry. Shoot, I was gonna ask her if this punch would be okay for chevrons. Quita, if you're still here, is this punch gonna be okay to make chevrons with? Here, I'll make one for you. Okay, let's try to make one that doesn't have a... Oh no, it's stuck in there. Oh, I hear the cat. So that's what I was thinking about for the chevron. That's good for a chevron? 
Okay. Talk to you later. Bye. Thank you for coming. Okay, I'm gonna put that aside for right now. And I really think I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna do my quote next. So I'll just set that aside to dry on its own. Take off my gloves. Since I have nice clean hands right now, well, dry hands anyway, relatively clean. I wanted to talk. I wanted to show you what um my mom did. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna change the camera angle. You're gonna be looking outside for a little bit. Maybe not. It doesn't want to stay up. I've abused my poor little camera so much. Okay, remember that one? All right. And you know what? The thing is, I wired my camera onto this lamp. <laughs> so it's pretty well stuck. You remember the, the first couple of streams I did when I came back? Okay, well, um, all right, I'm gonna see if I can do this, hold this maybe toward me like I was with Cooper the other, the last time. Okay, so, cause my angle is down. <laughs> Sorry, you guys, nice view of Joe's knees. Anyway, check this out. My mom got the pictures framed. Is that not cool? So this is one I did on stream not too long ago. Yeah, I love how she did it. Cause it's on canvas board, you know. Can you can you see the frame itself? It's so pretty. It's got the a little bit of black in it. And then the other one. And remember, these were from Greece when we went to Greece last summer. And she had them professionally framed. And here's the other one. Didn't that turn out great, you guys? Isn't it though? I still can't believe I got those curtains right in that window. Actually, the whole thing I'm just tickled pink about. The blue mat just makes it glow, doesn't it? So anyway, I had to show you guys that. I was pretty stoked about those. 
she just oh my mom she says she's not artistic but then she goes and she makes these most amazing decisions about artsy stuff hi ranza i think did you not see those streams those uh so the the second one was in acrylic and pastel pencil. And I did a couple of different streams with it, so it's possible you saw a different version. All right, I'm gonna get out my alphabet stamp. No, I didn't, um, I didn't varnish it because I didn't want to lose the white. And everything I've read and experienced tells me that once I varnish the, even with a spray varnish, I'm going to lose the white. And it was with pastel pencil, so it was really, not really chalky. Oh, I totally understand, Ranza. All right, so getting out my um, music book again. Oh, look, I found some music tucked away. It's my last little bit of music. Maybe we did. Lose Carol, that is. Maybe we did lose her. Okay, just had to jot down my quote. Cheeky. Bye. Thank you for coming.
I'm just getting out the letters. Let's see which one is the N here. I think that one. Okay, so never will I forsake you. There's the O, S A K and the R here. F O R S A K E forsake and then you y o u here's the y and the o you never will i leave l e a v e u Okay, so now I've got all my letters. Isn't that amazing? All those letters make those words, all those words. Pretty cool. Oh, this is true. Sounds like an awful lot of work. <laughs> I just wanna shove them in my little baggie. Carol says, if you know if you put magnets on the top side of each of those they can be stuck on a tin lid or a cookie sheet <laughs> i appreciate the the um suggestion but um yeah sounds like so much work sounds a lot like work man we're here to have fun we're here to goof off being goofy true it is work mm. I really need to turn this to where I can stay in the frame So maybe what I'll do is just cut off some of the edges, which is where I want to do my stamping from. If I need more, I will cut it later. Good night, AJ. Wrong 
AJ's taken off for the night. So I just want to say thanks for coming, AJ. Night, Jean. Thank you for coming. Bye, Ranza. Have a good night. Thank you for coming. Big hearts to both of you. All three of you. See ya. Oh, let's see, where's my quote at? Uh, yeah, never will I leave you. Thank you, Teresa. Teresa says, great stamping, Joe. Ha. Never will I leave you. Um, the the uh, verse references from Hebrews. Hebrews. Um, I don't want to misquote. Hold on. 13.5. NIV version. Wait, I think that's the end. I don't know if it really matters that much. In versus you, but I think this looks more like a you. Yep, I will be adding the reference. I'm too much of an English major not to. Never will I leave you.
never will I I kind of like that one better. Not too tickled about that F at all. Gonna practice a little more. Okay, I got one I liked. A little picky on that F. For sake It's a nice thought, isn't it? To never be alone, to never to never be forgotten. I love how when you stamp using these wooden ones that you get the little edges here and there. It just gives us so much character. So wherever I can, I leave it on there. All right, looks like I need a little bit more. Let's see if I can squeeze it onto there. And that's about all I do to get the ink off of those. I'll just tuck those away real quick. a little trim.
guess what I forgot? I almost forgot to put the reference in, even though we were just talking about it. Whoops! Alright, so what what was, um, is there a, an abbreviation, is it okay to use H-E-B for Hebrews? Carol, do you know? H-E-B? Okay. Hmm. Not too tickled with that. There we go. I decided to handwrite it. For a couple of reasons, my stamps do not include letters, or I mean numbers, sorry. <laughs> they do not include numbers. Um, and because I don't want the focus to be on this, but the message itself. So I'll just stick that down there. But it's good to know where to find it in case you want to look, look it up. Or in case Lauren wants to look it up. Okay, so gloves are going back on. It's such a beautiful phrase. I mean, really beautiful. Am I on camera completely? Okay. Okay, so I really like this, um, but I also want some some other art on it. So, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna keep that in mind. It turned out a lot bigger than I thought it was going to, but I really like it. So I'm going to carefully set these lit the stamps aside and uh, rather than try to squeeze the artwork off to one side of it, I'm actually going to put my drawing behind. So no gluing just yet, so sorry if I got y'all excited about gluing, but not quite yet.
Okay. So I need to paint an anchor and I think the best thing to do would be to add a little bit of black to one of these teals and make a, a darker anchor behind. And this was all um, Lorenz uh, prompting, so it's pretty cool. Yep. I will never. I will never. Oh. So you're saying my quote's not quite correct? Anyway, um, they, that's what they sent me, so I'm going to go with it. Maybe instead of um, black, I'll just add some ultra deep blue. There we go. This is reminding me of the doors in Greece. That gorgeous blue. I can just hear Dee Dee's voice in my head. I want that sketchy look right now. <laughs> I want it to look nice and sketchy. Just adding more water to my brush so that the, so it will go down nice and fluid. So this um, girl is, she's got to be a deep girl, I think, to want an anchor on her art. Symbolic, you know? Oh, hey, Miko. <laughs> Welcome. How's it looking? Am I am I looking like an anchor? Enough like an anchor? Adding a little more water to my paint yet again.
Very anchored. <laughs> Very, very anchored. I'm excited about it. It's looking really good. Okay, Carol. Oh, I better put away my ink before I forget. Thank you for looking that up, Carol. I really appreciate it. I think I'm going to stick with what she wrote to me what she wants. Okay, so then she wanted some chevrons, which she, she said this um, punch that I had was going to be good for a chevron. So I'm going to take some paper that I, that I have. And I'm just going to make sure that I got that hole completely covered. This tissue paper doesn't want to come out of there very well. out of there. Come on. Yeah, maybe one more if I can fit it in there. If I can squeeze one more out of this pretty paper. Yeah. Thanks, Miko. She says, good looking anchor. And I'm just about done using all of that homemade scrapey paper that Jean showed me how to make. I think this is the last of it. This is the last scrap homemade paper. So now I can start to arrange. Ooh, I like that. Oh, I like that a lot. Ooh, so exciting. Well, I don't think that they should be separated like that. I think maybe I'll just put them down this side. Yeah, where they stand out against the pink like that. It is. Is that a problem sometimes or? Uh, the, so the comment was, at least it's cutting nice and clean. So I was wondering if these punches sometimes don't cut nice and clean. I'm going to see if I can squeeze one more. That one didn't quite cut perfectly, but it's probably more to do with the paper not being whole than anything. Thanks, Pam. She says, I like that, Joe. I think it needs a little more of the shimmer mist down in that corner. I 
I got myself a little towel to sort of help me aim, mop up any mistakes. Sort of puts the anchor to the back a little bit too. Okay, I'm going to go off camera so that I can blow this dry just a little bit without disturbing my papers. Another little bit of chicken. Yeah, I hear you, Teresa, on that. That's why I was trying to squeeze one more chevron out of my paper. She, her suggestion was to try and do more of a chevron look. Um, more than one of these guys next to each other at the bottom. There we go. So this is going to change how I word or how I arrange the words just a little because of putting the chevrons in there. Thanks, me too. I had to have something that green would show up against. Is it still recognizable as an anchor with all that layering? Yeah. 
Yeah, I could try some words over the chevrons. And I could also move them up a little, like I moved those down. Oh, I forgot I was going to give Quita an update. I almost like that better. Yeah, I'm thinking that looks really nice. So what is what does he do? What does your husband do, Miss? This glimmer mist stuff um, by the by what is it the radiant rain stuff is water soluble so I have to be really careful about how much I rub over the chevrons. I have to be really really careful that I don't pick that pink up and transfer it onto the green. I'm going to grab a credit card. Hmm, I don't want to tear my paper either. Oh my gosh, he's with the army, oh my gosh. I love the, the paper too, Teresa. This um, old music paper really has a gorgeous sheen. And then when you hit it with the 
matte medium, it just, it's even more beautiful. Takes on the brown, more of a brown. Oh, I really hope she likes this. If she doesn't, I'm keeping it for myself. <laughs> it's turning out really, really cute. That tissue wants to just curl right up. Dropped it. Whoops. Come on, stop curling long enough for me to put you down. <laughs> it's like a sticker that won't behave. So let's see. Thank you for the reminder. So um, Teresa says, is there anything left on the list to add? So I have anchors and chevrons that she likes. Pinks, greens, teal, light yellow. She wants a quote and she wants music pages. Ha ha. I just had a comment. Those black alien gloves tickle me. Hey, I use what I have and I have what I use. They're from my husband. <laughs> He's the one who got them for me. So I do, uh, yeah, oh shoot, I just took off the gloves. Darn, because I had saved a couple pieces of music to add at the very end. Where, um, 
I thought it would just be more visible because of the layering. So on go the gloves again. Yeah, I don't want to touch it with my other other hand. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It is like a second skin when it when you get it on your hands. You cannot get it off. That's why I wear the gloves. Let's see. Where should I put this one? Thank you, Pam. I don't know if you heard, but it was actually a commission. I think I'll just layer it right here. Kind of like that, going maybe off the page a bit off of the canvas I don't um no I haven't anyway I've been reusing them during my sessions the gloves uh, like I'll take off if I can remember I'll take them off and save them for later because I use the um decoupage collage technique throughout you know so it makes sense to hang on to them. But this time, because I had already thrown them in the garbage, just got a new pair out. Well, another, a single one. Okay, so then let's go around and make sure that there's nothing sticking out the back. Because um, what I'll do is I'll actually put a ribbon on this and let her hang it with a ribbon from a nail and that way she doesn't have to have it framed. Okay, so that's pretty much all of the um, matte medium I'm going to use. So I'm going to blow dry this layer a little bit. Not yet. I'm not done yet. Teresa says, sign it. I'm not quite done yet. Got a couple more layers to go. Mmm. Love the smell of warm matte medium. <laughs> Oh, that's quite all right, Teresa. No worries. Okay, so I'm gonna get out a bristle, bristly brush, and take my yellow, and just sort of get a little bit on the bristles. And I'm gonna dry brush it on my canvas.
I like the bristles because it's going to let me um, see the brush strokes a little bit. I just feel like the yellow was lost as I added the layers. Thanks, Teresa. Okay, so then going back to that same kind of wash my brush out a little more. Not quite enough water. Hi Pam, thank you. See ya. Have a good sleep. Nice. I'm happy with that. At least I'm happy with the um, drippy 
be droplets. I'm gonna take a little bit of cream, just a tiny bit. and give my anchor a little bit of an accent. I'm going to go in with some bluegrass green. And then getting some of that um, bright green, also by Americana. Chair is a bit squeaky, squeaky, squeaky. Tata, <laughs> I love it. And this is, um, this color is Ultra Blue Deep by Americana.
You should stream, Nico. Nico says she needs something overhead so she can stream. Okay, I think it's pretty dang good. Really darn close, I think. So I think I'm going to just snap a quick picture of it and send to the Kita. How would you accent them? Teresa? She says maybe accenting the words. Like shadowing. How I added some brown on the previous one. Boy, that shows you how good my memory is. What was the last one I did? Oh man. Carol says the lines are helping anchor them, fun or not. <laughs> yes, exactly. Pun or not.
Oh yeah, that is the technical term for what I just did, is finger shadowing. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Mm, okay. Apparently, you stream thinks you're being naughty, Teresa. Great. Makes those words pop right out. Okay, one more thing. Okay, so definitely add steps. Yep. Um, trying to figure out from Laquita what color of brainstone she would like. Hmm. If I don't get an answer, I'll just have to decide. She says, what about rhinestones? <laughs> what about rhinestones? Oh yeah, I have rhinestones. Oh, good. She went for gold. Have you guys ever used Facebook Messenger? It is so funny. The first time I used it, I couldn't stop laughing because I thought <laughs> I thought it was so stinking cute with the all the sounds. And then the more I listened to it, the more addicted I got to the sounds. It was the funniest thing. Okay, so I've got gold hearts. I think that would be really nice. And as I went on, I was like, oh my gosh, I think I'm texting because using this program because I love the sounds so much. <laughs> it was so hilarious once I realized what I was doing.
Okay, so I've got gold hearts, and I also have really nice gold squares, which both would work well with the message of the canvas plus the um, the chevrons, the corners. It's very edgy canvas, this one. It's lots of edges. So I think that the both of them would actually work. But I'm really thinking maybe one or the other. It just depends on how it looks. So I'm getting several out of each so that we can see and make a decision and we'll see we'll see where it goes i don't want pink all right so i'm gonna put away my paints here Oh, I just left the camera. Sorry, guys. There's one thing about the, the new setup that I have. It's kind of in the way from as far as what I do with it. So let's see. You know, I might just get away with both. She says she only wants a couple, but I think that you really have to put them in more than one spot. Yeah, I really like those gold, dark gold diamonds better than the hearts. I think they stand out a lot more. Oh, that's a cool idea. Carol says you can always color um, clear gems with um, a Sharpie or ink. Oh, Teresa said that. One on the O. Well, I can't seem to find any more gold diamonds, so maybe I'm back to the drawing board with the hearts. Sorry, Teresa. I gotta give credit where it's due, you know? Well, if I put a heart on it, it's definitely going to cover it up all the way. And the, the diamond almost does too. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking too. Let me see if I can find more of those diamonds. Carol says the hearts seem almost a bit too cute. And I agree. I I just got to find some more gold diamonds. I did not know that you could color Yeah, that's pretty. And I like working in threes with these with rhinestones. Like that's an idea or up here or I could set them over here where they'll, they'll stand out against the green the blue green that's really pretty give it some up and down linear movement 
see what happens when I stick another one there. Right there is a good location. I like how it sort of um, follows the same line as the mast, giving it some up and down linear action. The mass of the anchor. All right, I found a third one. Oh, that is kind of cool. Maybe, oh, sorry, this is driving me bonkers. I gotta get my little puppy doodle. So long since I used it, I don't know where it is, but I've got one of those little, um, I can't even remember what it's called anymore. I had it when I was scrapbooking a lot. It has a little pokey end and it's got a sticky end too for setting rhinestones and small stuff like this, small annoying stuff. <laughs> On the left side, Teresa says, try them on the left side. Um, what about like here, up and down? No, I don't really want them there because they're, I mean, I'll try, get them arranged nice. So that's a thought, although it seems off kilter and out of place right there, I think. Yep, they're all the same color. They're this orangey gold. What about if I shift them all up here, right around here somewhere? That's kind of nice. You don't see it down here, right? I kind of like that, you guys. It's not too much, but it's... Oh, yeah. I like it. She didn't want too many, so I've got to be careful. Okay, so horizontal. I'm really liking this layout. But if I go horizontal, I would do down here, like I had it, or maybe even right here.
right? It's just, um, let's see, and if I were to spread them out, what is that pokey tool called? It's going to drive me nuts now. Then I could do some of this type of thing. That's not bad. That really frames it. <laughs> the sticky pickup gem tool thingy majigger dealy bopper I have one here somewhere It was in the last place I looked, I swear. Quicker Poker Picker Upper. That's the official name of this doohickey. The Quicker Poker Picker Upper. It's got some sticky stuff here, which you can replace. You can take that off. And you just give it a little squeeze to get some fresh stuff out there. And then this thing comes out, you guys are going to flip out when you see how easy these are moved. So on. Yeah, I agree with them. They need to, I think they need to be closer together. I kind of like that. I kind of like that, you guys, right there. In the greenish over here or up there I guess that's where I had him before huh Yeah, you're right, they do. They pop more there. I like it both ways. Gosh, it's like, <laughs> as soon as I move them, I'm like, yeah, that's it. <laughs> I'm just going to do it. <laughs> I'm going to do it right there. That's it right there. Either way, really. Carol likes it by the Hebrews better. <laughs> 
I swear it could go either way. Why is it my glossy accents every time I go to use it is stuffed up? It's like it doesn't want to go. Flip a coin. Yeah. Exactly. Either way would make me very happy, actually. See, on this orientation right here, I like how it's um, up and down. And it's because a lot there's a lot of horizontal going on in this picture. And so I think it really helps to have some up and down action. This is glossy accents here. Oops, way too much. More rhinestones? <laughs> More rhinestones. Oh my goodness, you guys. Have you ever seen that Saturday Night Live video with the... I don't, I don't even know what the premise is of it, but all I remember is the guy saying, It needs more cowbell! Do you guys remember seeing that? I don't know if you've ever seen it, but... The other day I was telling my husband about how disappointed I was in something, one of my art pieces. And I said, the only thing that will fix it is, and he goes, more cowbell. <laughs> well, I'm trying to go easy because when, when Laquita said that she wanted rhinestones, she said, only a couple. So I don't want to overdo it. And the glossy accents will ensure that they're there for future posterity. So that stuff really sticks like super glue. Ta-da! Yay! And then the cap goes on to keep this stuff from drying out. And then this goes back in here. Quicker poker picker upper. <laughs> All right, last thing that needs done is a signature. Ta-da! Exactly. That's exactly what I feel like doing, Carol. Ta-da! <laughs>
thanks everybody for being here. And um, at this point, I'm going to stop the recording. But if you're watching the recording, I want to thank you for watching as well. And I hope you've enjoyed it. My stream is on Mondays at 7 p.m. Eastern Time at the channel Starzart, S T A R Z A R T, Starzart on Ustream. Hope to see you there.